ourselves a few years ago, driving through the East Coast up in Canada. You're driving along the beautiful St. John River Valley. You come across this tiny town called Perth Andover. That's my hometown. Yeah. You get some much better reaction in my hometown, but that was all right. That was... That was almost an applause. That was that nice. was... No, I'm not <laughs> As you're driving through, you see a sign up for some live music on Thursday nights. Just so happy it's a Thursday night, so you step inside, settle up to the bar, start chatting with the bartender for a little bit. But before too long, she's taken away to deal with somebody else. With your drink in hand, you just take a quick look around the room to see who all's there, see what's going on. Your attention's drawn to this couple in the corner all by themselves. It looks like they're having a pretty intense conversation. Look at the woman and she's just kind of, just kind of talking away, sipping on some kind of a drink that the locals are calling a Moscow moose. As you find out, it's just a really big glass with a little bit of ice. Look at the fella, he's just, he's just shaking his head, shaking his head, and shaking his head, staring down at ten empty shot glasses. You find yourself concentrating on this man for a few minutes, and you start to recognize a look coming across his face. It's the, it's the look of a man who's got something to say he's been wanting to say for an awfully long time. what's coming. So like any good polite person would do, you just grab your drink, turn yourself around in your bar stool so that you can get a good look at all the action. And just as he stands up and he kicks back his chair and he throws down that last shot of whiskey, the whole room goes quiet. This is what everybody hears me say.